go out and vote. <laughs> but we do have an app, apparently. There is an app. There Not is CBC, an app. But there, somebody has created an app to remind you to walk the dog. Or that's feed right. the dog. Walk or, or give feed the dog its or medicine. water. Or that's right. Yeah, there's a Montreal-based company that has come up with this app called Dog Sync. Of course, it's called Dog Sync. And yeah. it's a multi-user <laughs> app for households, and it basically will help a household manage tasks relating to your pet, your dog specifically in this case. So you log in, you sign up, you put your dog's name and your dog's picture and your dog's way to info about your dog and then what happens is it's either task or request oriented. So you come home, you see that the dog uh, you know, possibly needs to be let out, you let the dog out and then you just write that you have. So that the next person knows exactly where the dog stands. They stand. get a notification exactly. that you, you walk the dog. Which is a so bark, by it. the way. Bar no. Barkification. Barkification. It's very it clever. Doesn't. Yeah. It's very handy oh. for, you know, if you don't know whether or not the dog's been let out. And this does settle the argument. If your partner or you or their children or you have that argument, I always walk the dog. No, I always walk the dog. That's right. It well, has now you can see who always statistics. walks the dog. That's Stats. right. A, a monthly uh, roundup of who did what. And it's really, really easy to use. What I love about this app exactly is that it's the simplicity of the interface, the simplicity of the app itself. It could be such a a complex thing to manage multiple people, maybe multiple pets, but the app actually is just based on little badges. So you have little images for each, you know, oh, cute. Oh, for at, treats. each activity, each, right. each task. So, you know, feed, sleep, right. bathe, whatever you it would can, be. Because you your dog will eat, will eat again. Like, exactly. It's not, you know, your dog will the dog's going to tell you, I had breakfast. <laughs> it's it's, the, it's yeah, such the an easy app to that. use, and I am so disappointed that it does not exist for cats because it would really <laughs> help me. You need so many more tasks for cats, I, like mood, <laughs> feelings, <laughs> I know, exactly. Exactly. level of rage. And what's really great about it is if, the, if there is a task that you want to um, add, but that isn't in the list of tasks that are already there, you can actually add tasks as well. So actually, I could use this app for my t cats, and I think I will. Cleaning litter. Cleaning litter. That would be a good one. Yeah. And, the, and it's done really well, right, so far, this app? So the app has already won uh, Best New Montreal Startup at a <laughs> Montreal <laughs> B-Tech <laughs> event that took dog. place a couple of and weeks ago, which means they get to take part in the Montreal the Startup okay, Festival in the work. summer, great. Uh, which is great. And this is app has been that's out right. in its beta version, I guess yeah. you would say. About 3,000 users. About 3,000 uh, users. So and um, in April, we'll be releasing a whole bunch of new updates to make the app even more amazing than it already is. You can register for multiple times at once, like walk that's and water. Awesome. That's kind of awesome. Kind of awesome. Played with. <laughs> um, April seems so far away, especially since we're in the middle of an election and there's tons of snow outside. A polar vortex. <laughs> um, if you've gone, <laughs>